I gotta fix my wall. This is the problem right here. This is my dining room window. And what's happened is we have these old aluminum frame windows. They are double paned and failing, as you can see. But in cold weather, we get a massive amount of condensation that builds up when the house is warm inside and it's cold outside. So the water builds up, it runs down onto the old wooden window sills, and I realize how dirty this looks. That's not because it doesn't get cleaned regularly, it's because it's damp all the time, and so it gets dusty and mildewy and gross. So what's happened is the water has slowly built up and leaked down through this frame and then created a problem in the drywall here. And it's not a terrible problem because it, you know, it could create a, a nasty hole in the wall, but it's caused it look you can see the gravity and how it pulled down like this. And the old sheetrock has gotten messed up. The paint is peeling. Um, and in addition, we have a long crack. I've got the little bit that runs up here. It joins the crack at the windowsill. And way up at the top, we have a crack that lines up from the ceiling down. Here in California, we recognize that. That's called earthquake damage. It's not major earthquake damage, but it's going to have to be repaired. My concern today is opening up this little mess here that my cat loves to play with and make worse and um, peel away the paint, see what needs to be done spackle, let it dry, and then put some fresh paint on it. So that's what I'm up to. I keep referring in the video to this white area as sheetrock. It's not sheetrock or wallboard. It is old spackling put on by I don't know whom. But this area in the middle with the green, that is sheetrock and I'm happy to see it because it is a type of wallboard called greenboard and it's highly water resistant. It's probably the reason that this entire wall did not completely rot out with all the moisture that it's being exposed to. Very happy to see this.
first go with the spackle. I had to use a lot and I had to use a heavy hand with a light touch. So quite a bit of spackle. I had to be careful because that old wallboard underneath is so dry and dusty. It just it's hard to get the spackle going without having it just roll right off. I've got my first layer on there. I'm going to let it get nice and dry and then I'll knock it down with some sanding and probably put at least one more big layer on. In the meantime, I'm going to clean up all these chunks because these become the perfect cat toy and then I have that mess all over my whole house because I have helpers. Now that it's sanded, I'm going to dust it with a rag that's just barely damp. My camera enabled me to get up under here and finally get a good look. Right where the seam is, where the window frame meets the wall, you can see there's some marked deterioration where the whole area has gotten wet. I'm going to dig in there, sand it, and hit it with some high quality caulking before I'm finished with everything else. So what I'm going to do, um, I've had a, mm, close to 24 hours since I sanded and put a second bit of speckle on my wall repair. And what I want to do today before I'm ready to put primer on it is get uh, my caulking gun and I want to run a little bead of caulk along that soft little spot I found that runs right along the edge where the wall meets the window frame. It doesn't feel wet. It doesn't feel mushy. It doesn't feel like if I poked it really hard with my finger, like my finger would go into the wall. It isn't that bad. I don't, you know, I just don't know how long that little spot has been sitting there getting, um, you know, soft and, and I want to want to take care of that right now. So I'm going to run a little bead of caulk, let that dry, then do the final sanding on my repair. The other tool that I'm using this time that I wish I'd had yesterday are my computer glasses. For those of you who maybe are old like me or you have old eyes like me, my regular glasses that I was wearing yesterday are trifocals. The problem is, um, you know, I need to look through the bottom of the lens at my work area, and so I'm constantly lifting my head like this. So the combination of being down on my hands and knees on the hardwood floor, tilting my head back, trying to see through my trifocals and do the work that I was doing, I was really stiff and not very happy when I got up off the floor. So, computer glasses, they help me see my work just about the distance 
from my eyes that my computer would be. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and do the caulking. Then I will be back to let you watch the final um, priming and painting of the repair. Okay, well, um, true to form, I had a recording of myself putting this coat of paint on the wall repair. <laughs> and when I finished, I turned around and looked at the camera and the camera was not on. Isn't that special? Anyway, there it is. Uh, it's not dry yet. That's why it looks so blotchy. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. I will catch a little a fully dry photograph uh, for the tail end of this video but what a difference right what a difference it's so nice when things that you've been putting off because I put off that that little scab of paint mass that my kitten kept fiddling with and making bigger and it finally got to the point where it was embarrassing like I had somebody come over for dinner and I realized oh crap I have that hole in my wall so I ran in and got one of our guitars <laughs> on a stand and and posed it in front of the hole so it wouldn't show while we were sitting right here at dinner in a couple hours that's probably going to be blended in really nicely and I can put away my drop cloth, clean up the last bit of mess on the floor, and move on to the next project. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to see more from me, I do invite you to subscribe. And until then, enjoy the good stuff. See you next time.